thoughts. We all have them as we go through our daily lives. From thoughts we like, such as how pretty that sunrise is, or how good that food tastes that you're eating, to thoughts we don't like, such as what if I have a panic attack or I can't believe he or she said that to me. Thoughts bring about our feelings. In fact, it's safe to say that most of our feelings start with a thought. But what if you're sensitized? What does that mean for you? Well, just like everyone else, you'll feel a feeling for each thought that you have, but it'll more than likely be exaggerated. This is because when a nervous system is sensitized, aka tired, nerves react with more of a punch than they normally would. But why? Why do sensitized nerves pop off so much anxiety over thoughts? The answer is simple. Your brain doesn't know the difference between thought and reality. So anytime you have a negative thought, especially if you're sensitized, your nerves are going to react as if you're in real danger. To the brain, that negative thought is a dangerous reality. So, even though you know your thoughts are just in your head, your brain doesn't. This is why negative thoughts can cause problems for all of us, especially those of us who are sensitized. So now that you understand this, what can you do about it? You're probably thinking to yourself, I can't just turn off my thoughts, so I guess I'm pretty much screwed, huh? Well, no. There is something you can do about this, and that's what we're going to talk about. You see, you have a choice anytime a negative or unpleasant thought enters your head. You can either do what you've been doing this entire time, which is to fight with the thought, follow it around in your head, obsess over it, or you can instead make the conscious choice to notice the thought, refuse to go there with it, and bring your full attention back to the present moment. This practice helps to bring you out of the obsession cycle, and since we've already established that thoughts create our feelings, this will help to heal your tired nerves as well. Just an added bit of information, the more you entertain a particular thought in your head, the stronger the pathway for that thought becomes. So not only will this help heal your nerves, it will also help you to get rid of those negative thoughts once and for all. Now this practice takes time, so you have to be willing to dedicate to it. Chances are, you aren't going to be perfect at this right away, and even if you are, it isn't going to heal your nerves overnight, or erase those negative thoughts overnight. So what's a good way to practice this whole not following your thoughts thing? Well, as I said earlier, you first notice the thought, accept it, but then you make the choice to not add to the story, to not fight with it. Here's an example. Let's say you have the negative thought of, I might go crazy. You notice the thought, accept that it came, and then you make the choice to not go there by focusing on something in reality. Maybe that something is a sound that's around you at the time, like the noise of a fan or buzzing of a heater. Or maybe you would rather focus your full attention on what you're doing, like the shower you're taking or the dishes you're washing. It really doesn't matter so long as you're consciously making the choice to not fight with your thoughts and then bringing your attention elsewhere. If the thought wants to come back time and time again, that's fine. There's really nothing we can do about that right now, but we can make the choice to continue using our new practice of not following thoughts and living in the present moment, and in time, we will see results. Now, this advice applies whether you suffer from one particular negative thought that is really bugging you, or several dozen negative thoughts that are really bugging you. The amount of negative thoughts you're having does not matter. With all that being said, you must dedicate yourself to this practice in order to see the big results that you want. Just like with acceptance of feelings, you can't just use this advice once or twice and expect to be rid of those negative thoughts in your head. Chances are, as I said earlier, they will probably come back for some time and that's okay. Keep using this practice. Don't give up on it because it does take time for your brain to learn. Now, does that mean that this practice won't bring you instant relief? That you'll have to continue to suffer for a while before you can relax? Well, although it does take time to rid yourself of the thoughts completely, Doing this practice does bring some instant relief in the way that you're no longer fighting battles in your head, which, as you'll soon find out, is a nice change of pace. So start using this practice, and you will soon reap the benefits.